Welcome everybody, this is Nightsaber Z42, and we are back with some more Pillars of Eternity. Today we are going to head to Anslog's Pass, and we're going to do a Mother's Plea. We're going to get that quest taken care of, and we're going to explore the entire area uh, that we can. So let's go ahead and get started with the travel all the way to Anslog's Pass. Or is it Anslog's Compass? Yeah, Anslog's Compass. There we go. It's going to take us about one day and two hours to complete. But we're going to head over there. Other than that, after Anslog's Compass, we're going to take care of Radric's hold. Get into his keep and do that whole quest and whatnot. And it's probably going to be a lot of work. Ah, look at that. Ingredients. And we can also talk to two people. Eggdrang and Tilly. Two villagers stand by one of the tide pools. They are breathing harshly, clearly winded, and look up nervously as you approach. Hail and well met. If you're here to fish, as we are, stranger, you'll want to avoid the compass proper. A lot of ships wind up spread across the rocks here, so we didn't think too much of the wreckage until we heard something. A terrible noise. I thought maybe it was a survivor, but he wasn't alive. Moving, but not truly alive. It was awful. What do you mean? What did you see? Corpses. Walking corpses. We don't want any part of it, whatever the cause. Might be we can find something in these tide pools, and then we're headed straight home. Alright. Bye-bye. Good tidings to... Wait. Did you hear that? And here we go. We got ourselves a fight. We got some Zarips to fight. And we're going to have everybody just basically attack. My uh, spellcasters, of course, going to do their AoEs. But this isn't going to be much trouble to us at all. I was like, have you cast that spell yet? Oh, Zarp's already dead. Okay. That's the thing about having the AI turned off is you got to really micromanage everything. Let's go ahead and attack the a lot more of a live one. So you actually, once an enemy dies, they'll just, they'll just stand around and wait until you actually give them an order, which can be a little bit, you know, frustrating, but I'd rather it be that than them doing something that I don't want them to do. Got a lot of Zorp stuff. We're going to immediately put that in our stash because we're going to be selling it. A blade in the dark. Of course, you know, we're going to be hiding, sneaking around. Now we need to find the witch lady. Who can, ooh, a Zarp champion. Who can help the mother. Yes. And that's why we are here. And I believe I remember where she's at too. Oh, that guy's coming closer. Coming closer. Okay, so why don't we have Solas go ahead. We're going to try to pin the champion down. Mm -hmm. Oh, crap. No, no, no. Do that with a bow, please. Do it with a bow. Up too late. She's already been spotted. But I do think she has to get real close. Okay, so everybody else, get out of stealth. Everybody is attacking the champion. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty bad. Switch over to your melee weapons. And I will even have, oh, you have, okay. I see what we can do. We can go ahead and flank the champion. There we go, and we'll do it one more time. Get that champion taken care of. And he's still not dead, okay. Um, Let's get in there and heal up our rogue and while burning everybody else. There we go. Um, Near death. You can attack that, Zarp. There we go, everybody attack. This Zarep, so he's not flanking. There we go. Attack. <laughs> Everybody just turns simultaneously. It's like marching band. There we go. We did it. Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Some more Zarep stuff and a Zork tongue. <laughs> it's our... The first item we need for our Zarek puppet. <laughs> we can go to taverns and... Pretend like we have a Zara that can talk. Yep, 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 yep. 
All right, we got ourselves a guy and paid from Fulano's travels. After several days' journey, it seems it is time to la at last to part ways with my traveling companion from New Heomar. A pity we could not see the compass together, but perhaps he will have as grand a time in Gyron's grasp. I have given him my gloves for safekeeping, for I will hardly need them in such fine weather. I believe we already have his gloves. Somebody's wearing gloves. Or maybe we haven't been there. I think that might be a new area. No, we got it. That was back in uh, the first area we went to. We scaled that wall where the guy was dead. Had Fulvano's stuff. I believe there's this, uh, more Zarps down here. I like just to go around the perimeter first. And then work my way inside. Ah. There we go. Fish in clumps of seaweed, bright green with heat, royal in the stew. It tastes pleasantly salty. Let's go ahead and talk to Renga. You find yourself facing a towering Aomawa woman. Her skin is the warm gold brown of a dying sunset, with pale fish white patches at throat and hands. Wavy red brown hair, pulled into tight braids around a stripe of bare skin that follows the curve of her skull, flows down over her broad shoulders. Welcome. She regards you calmly, evidently unsurprised to find you here at the edge of her camp by the water. Have you come for medicines and craftworks, or to share their fire? She gestures to the large cauldron nearby. Afra sent me here. She says that you know some way to ensure that her child is not a hollowborn. Ah, more of Lord Radric's frightened flock. You are kind to come all this way. Poor Afra must be bet beside herself. I imagine she gave you something for payment. Whatever it is, you keep it. I don't need coin. I need you to do something for me instead. There is a Zarip tribe to the northeast led by one of their priests. Tana was exiled from, them, the, from there some time ago, and the scouts still look about this place, waiting for an opportunity to end his life. Zarip lets out a rattling squawk, head drooping. One day I will have to go for supplies, and I will come back to find my assistant slain. How will I help anyone then? You rid me of this nuisance, and I will do what I can for Afra, and throw in something for you too. All right, I'll be back when it's done. Good, good. You'll find them easily enough, I think. Good luck. All right. Protector of the Zorips. Even though we're going to slay a whole bunch of them. Quietly. To the northeast we go. Mm -hmm. Not quite at halfway of the map exploration just yet. But there really isn't much to do here if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's a Zart right there. We're just going to immediately attack him because there's like two or three. Whoa! You thought I was invisible until I came up and smacked you in the face, cutting off your head. And actually what we should do... Following your lead. I'm going to move you back to your weapons, your ranged weapons. There we go. Is uh, Amethyst. I thought so. Go ahead and stealth. And here we go. Another loading screen. I'm going to take a sip of my grape juice. Okay, here we go. We're going to sneak on through. Sporling, thanks, spores. Um, this isn't the area I thought it was. Eh? Wow, look at that. It's gonna knock somebody down. Immune to charm, confused, dominated, frightened, paralyzed, stunned, and terrified. I like how frightened and terrified are like two different things. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait for him to come closer. Because I haven't drawn the attention of the others just yet. And now we're going to attack. Oh, nobody's attacking. Okay. I was about to say, why, uh, did I do something wrong? Do you just feel that, like not attacking today or something? One per encounter. Uh, let's go ahead and second wind. This thing hits like a brick. If a brick was ever thrown at your face. There we go. I'm gonna back up just a little bit. Yeah, there we go for the recovery. Get that second win back. We get two dank spores. Okay. 
As if it wasn't, this place wasn't dank enough. Okay. I do see some more enemies. Um. Hmm. Actually, everybody should be hiding right now. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. And if I can just pick that one off. Okay, th I can deal with two. Two sporlings. That's fine. Everybody else, go ahead and attack. Since I can recharge my spells, my counter stuff, I'm just going to go ahead and use my spells right here. There we go. Do it again. Okay, keep on attacking. We'll get him eventually. What is that? You have something on you. Um, constant recovery. That's pretty cool. We got some speed right there. Hey. Um, uh, pick up. Some more spores. Okay. Um. Encyclopedia, bestiary. I'm looking for spore. There we go. Sporling. Don't know much about them. They have. I think this is against slash. Hey. So Edda, we're gonna move you up to a slash and pierce. I think, I think it's the lower the number, the better the damage for damage reduction. Because I would assume that you'd want a higher number for... All right. You'd want a higher number for, for to reduce the damage. So I hope I got that right. Actually, no, well, we're going to back up here because it looks like only one of them can make it through. Eh? So what I'm going to have Solus do... Let's go. Let's attack one. Huh, got it. Ooh, ouch. Okay. Let's go ahead and rush right on in then. She's confused for a while. I'm sneaking as close as I can get. Apparently it's gonna be pretty close. There we go. Uh, they got confused again. Okay. These guys seem like they don't have as much HP, which is fine. I'm going to wait for that confusion to come out and then have her join the fight. And you still have four seconds of confusion left. That'll be fine. Now, I'm going to assume these guys are also immune to the same things that the others were. Okay. Edders confused. Are you confused still? Try something else. There we go. Who can I select? Okay. Everybody but Edder. Uh, somebody. Okay. Roland has ineffective. Probably the crush damage on his weapon, I think. It's crush and slash. Pierce and crush. What weapon am I using? Am I using my scepter? It looks like it. Oh, we'll go and... Do Pierce, I guess. Well, this has... Nah. It's kind of weird. Oh, well. Switch it up. Everybody attack that spore. And while we're at it, we're going to start casting some spells. And I'm actually going to move kind of up with his sword. So we have some more melees. Go do it again. Ah, the rents. Durant's Durant's. He's the maniac from the 80s. He's, he's, okay, there we go. There we go. I like how when they're confused, they just kind of like sit there doing nothing instead of attacking me. Because <laughs> if this was Pokemon, that would totally be the thing that they'd be doing. Thanks, boys. I got a chest with an Arbalest. Very slow. Um, we'll put that in our stash because I probably don't want, yeah, I'd rather have a crossbow. We'll search this guy. Dead adventurer, got a lockpick and some copper. We'll take that. Cave coral, another cave coral up here. And we already looted the chest. All right, let's get everybody out of here. No problem. The Zarps were not here. They're actually up further north. Oh, uh, we're sneaking. Fight 
flame oh no it's slow okay i was about to say why are we sneaking still it's fine we're gonna hunt some zorips here first we're gonna quick save check our map let's come all the way up here Are peeled. Ew, what? They're not, they're not like onions. You can't just do those. Can't do that. They're gonna seriously damage your eyeballs. I heard a strange rumor that they're gonna start trying to reboot uh, Shrek. Probably as a TV series. I have no idea if that's true or not. Ooh, a page from Fawn's Travels. I met a helpful direwood woman while in Gilded Vale. She was an invaluable guide during my time in that sorry village and agreed to accompany me some part of the way towards Anslog's compass. We parted ways in the wilds known as Magrin's Fork, but I gave her my amulet so that she might remember me fondly. Perhaps I will return to these lands someday, after all. Yeah, yeah. And I believe I got that amulet too. Yep, Vavano's amulet. All the people that have his stuff, by the way, I think are dead. So, sad in a way, but that means we get it later. We are almost approaching the northeast quadrant. There we go. There's the, Z the Zorip place. I'm going to move you two up just a little bit more. And so let's go ahead and take him out. Unfortunately, that was not one hit KO. These guys have a lot more HP, by the way, than the dungeon ones that we've seen before. Out of stealth. Who do you want to get rid of first? I guess we're getting rid of the Zarup skirmisher. Oh, I did not want to click. I wanted to click on him. Oh, crap. There's a lot of them. Okay. We're going to change our tactics just a little tiny bit. There we go. We're going to Armor of Faith. Solus is actually going to move to a Rapier and start attacking that way. You already have your weapon out. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Go ahead and scream loudly. Okay, everybody is well and down. I say we go ahead and start burning. Ah, oh, crap. It's such a small area. I totally forgot about that. Who is in that area? Somebody's in that area. I can see. But you know what? You shouldn't have been there in the first place. Oh, she's frightened. That's why she's not attacking. You frightened yourself? Are you serious? Um, where are you? I cannot tell. You're right there. I say... We need to come around and get rid of this champion for sure. Edder. Get rid of this Zarip, please. The rants, the rants. We need to get rid of... Well, they're pretty easy to hit. So we might just want a blessing. Yeah. We'll put the blessing up. You have two. You need to be attacking a Zarip. Is that a regular Zarp or the Zarp champion? I cannot tell. Well, whatever. We're going to attack that one. Yeah. a really bad spot for her to be in even more so attack that Zarp too she's probably gonna end up getting killed attack attack everybody here let's see if we can take off some of that this area is relatively short, so why don't we 
go ahead and Nah, let's go ahead and do some damage too while we're at it. There we go. Heal and damage. That's a good combination. As long as they're two separate people, entities. There we go. Okay, she's not attacking anything. Attack this guy. He's like almost dead. There we go. Now attack the priest. Actually, the... Well, let's go ahead and attack the priest. Why not? Durant, Durant, attack the priest, please. Um, kind of go ahead and take on the champion. There we go. We are really almost done with this fight. So I got one more spell up my sleeve. We're going to go ahead and knock this guy down. There we go. Yeah, this match is pretty much over. We need to be attacking. Spear to spear. Who's going to get theirs first? There we go. Everybody attack this champion now. Surround him. Make him feel inferior. Make him know all the wrongdoing he's done. Alright. Look at all the loots we got. And it's all going on our stash. Because we're going to sell it. <laughs> for probably not very much. Right, not a whole lot of money. My eyes are peeled. Stop doing that. You're going to have to like... You know, poke your eyeballs out and stuff. We will explore the rest of the area for the loots. Clam shells and crab carapaces litter the coals. Mmm, yum yum. And I see a little blue thing right there. We get a scroll of prayer against fear. Durant can use that, although I think he's already got that spell. Minor regeneration. We'll go ahead and give that to Rika. Because she's going to be the one that needs high... HP, because she's always being attacked. And she's got... What's her armor? It is male armor. So it's medium. Yeah. Of course. Oh, move with everybody, please. Please. Alright, we got a fine crossbow. That's going to Solus and Fulvano's letter. How is it that so grand a journey as mine should lead me here? The people of the dare would call this pitiable... Yes, pitiable lagoon, a sight to see, but all I have experienced here is misfortune. I thought to explore the cavern by the waters, only to discover it was home to sporlings. I went to see the vaunted compass, and lost the bulk of my letters when I tripped over some driftwood. And at last, I made to inspect the dragon skulls nearby, only to be menaced by some foolish little zarips. I will return to Gilded Vale as soon as I catch my breath. At least the zarips do not appear to fall have fall- oh. Derp, derp. So, it appears that would be Fulvano. He's dead. But we got his gear. Now, are you the only one? That's my only question. But I guess once you have one ghoul, there's another one close by. Following your lead. Make sure you got the right weapons. Here we go. Yes. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Let's go. Almost. That's quite a bit of damage. Is that the only one? Wow, he is the only one. What? No, attack. I missed clicking on their feet. <laughs> I guess when they get close, I should be using my... Rapiers and stuff. Alright. Let's continue exploring. Because we are actually almost done with this area. Look at that rock. Oh, there's a gold right there. Hey. Can I move just a tiny bit closer without being seen? Cool. I'm gonna make him hobble a little bit. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. All right, everybody. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cannot camp, I know. Come on under the cover of darkness. Here we go. Let's attack the weakling. Uh-oh. I was about to say we're about to get flanked here, but... Luckily, they don't do stuff like that. Attack. Um, 
Let's make our accuracy a little bit better. Yeah. I said let's do that. Edder attack, please. Oh. Why is Edder not attacking? You're weakened. Okay. I get that. You feel weak and inferior. Oh my gosh. He is getting pounded right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and focus on this area. And, uh, kind of come around and attack a ghoul, please. Bless. Um, there we go. Go ahead and attack this guy. Yeah, let Edder do some stuff. Because he can tank it. This ghoul looks better than the rest. Okay. Huh. Don't know. There's really much of anything. Yeah, if we do that, she's going to get hit. But hey, you shouldn't have been standing there in the first place. By the way, go ahead and frighten everybody too. All right. Um, Where is... Ah, she's right there. Go ahead and engage with him. Kinda. Is this guy flanked? He is not flanked. Oh, he's engaged. Oh no, he's not engaged. Okay, so. Well. There we go. All right. Hmm. What can I do? I guess we'll just attack. Wait for Kana to get his third. You two are done. Attack the weakling, please. And uh, Kana's got his third one. Go ready to go. Now we could do an attack or we can get some extra muscle. And I think I want the extra muscle. So we're going to summon the skeletons right there. There we go. That is fine. That is mighty fine. Keep on attacking. Attack your target. Um, you skeletons, go ahead and beat up on this guy. Get the flank going. Go ahead and heal up, please. And you need a new target, so attack this guy. Attack that fool, please. Whoops. Okay, your target is dead. So attack the target. Right in front, please. Attack the same target. Let's get some flanks going. I think a skeleton just fell, too. Yep, kill the human skeleton. That's fine. Come around and help your fellow skeletons. Yep, skeleton's dead. Um, that's Adder. Turn around. Beat up that ghoul. Go ahead and kill the one. As well as you. Yeah, let's go ahead and take out our targets. Adder, come down. And everybody, go ahead and finish the last ghoul off. There we go. Pro strats right there. GG. You're all dead. I am on your side. What? What's happening? Why are we attacking each other? Is this Skyrim? Did you accidentally hit each other and now you're pissed off? Because if so, you better cut that out. We don't do that here. Okay. My eyes are peeled. At the center of a ring of jagged stone, this boulder casts long shadows across the sand as the sun moves overhead. <laughs> you want to spend more time by under the sea? I could put you under the sea. But you'll be dead. Paid from Favano's travels. While traveling west towards Gilded Vale, I encountered a fellow traveler of some considerable intelligence, and we engaged in pleasant conversation. It came to light that the poor fellow had the most ex as a credible pair of boots upon him. I gave him one of my spare sets that he might better appreciate Vale and craftsmanship. May they serve him well, for he said he intended to cross the wilderness known as the Black Meadow. I cannot imagine it is a pleasant place. Okay, and I believe we already have his boots as well. 
Yeah, Rika's got the boots. Excellent. Whoops. Light, flame, and sound. Okay, excellent. Mucho bueno. What is that? Is that a mace? Morning star. It's got a lot of crush damage on it. It is two-handed though. It's very slow, or it's just slow, not very slow. Don't want it though. I think that's the entire area. Yep, Ranga's the dial. All right, so let's go back to Renga's camp and finish off this quest. There we go. Ah, grape juice is the best. Actually, it's the best for me right now. I know I've had like a lime craving and now a grape craving. Hello. Is it done? Am I rid of the interminable squawking of the Zarips? No, Tana. I do not mind yours. They're all dead. Good. I tried to be... I tired of their feeble attempts to surprise us. Here. For your trouble. And now we can get underway with my part of the bargain. Oh, I got potions of minor regeneration, recovery, and endurance. I will get started on the mixture, but I need one more ingredient. Some spores from the creatures in that cave there. Spoilings, they call them. It is a useful material. I need one for the mixture. You are welcome to any others you find. Aye, aye, so happen to have those boys right here. So you do. Excellent. Give one here and I'll add it to the cauldron. This should not take long. Boom, boom, boom. The mixture is ready. Take this to Afra. Tell her to drink it before bed as it induces sleep. She should find herself more energetic in the mornings. Tell her to eat more fish and cheese. The potion will sustain a healthy appetite, grant her strength. She's a rather frail woman, from what I remember of her. Wait, I thought this was a cure. I can tend to ailments of the body. I cannot cure an affliction of the soul, certainly not one inflicted by the gods. I have explained many times, people will believe what they want. Wizard's first rule. So let her believe. Perhaps that will help. Faith is a powerful thing. In the meantime, she will feel much improved, and if her child should not be claimed by the legacy, then it will be born healthy. That I will promise. Fine, I'll get going then. I have done what I can, as promised. Till Afra, I wish her well. There we go. So, let's go to one of the edges of the map here, and we'll travel all the way back to Gilded Vale, and our Stormkeep or our keep is now ready although I do not have enough money to really buy anything but hey taxes collected lost oh we lost some to bandits okay so we need to upgrade something that'll give us more um, of these lock symbols Yeah. Super sad. Security. Yeah. We need more security. So we can keep our money. Because we want the money. To Gilded Vale. By the way, I don't think you head east after or at Anslog's Compass. I think you can only go back the way you came. There isn't anything around to explore after that. So, oh well. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. First things first, though, we're going to sell so everything we got from the Zorips. Because we don't need that crap. I think this is the right place. I hope it's the right place. It is... Yes. The blacksmith. Awesome. Just what I needed. Hail, traveler. All right, let's see. Mustache. Sell, 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 sell. Oh, you're the arbalist. I don't want you. You are a hunting bow. It's average. 12 to 18. I might keep that around. Nah, I'm going to sell it. Sell everything, even the morning star. I'm getting 240. It's pretty good. Scale armor. 
We'll go ahead and sell that too. And the helmets. I'll keep all this. Although I should be using it. And all my craft stuff I'll keep as well. Just in case. Trade. There we go. I do sell campfires, by the way. He does. I need some. Yeah. I can only take two, so. I'll take the two. There we go. Although I assume that you can get more later in the game. That'd be nice. <laughs> That'd be very nice. But anyways, we have a quest to turn in. So let's go ahead and do that. Maybe somebody will level up. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, where is the lady's house again? There it is. Ofra's house. Ofra. Alfra. Alfra. Okay. Oh, who's going to get there first? Is that the rants? He went a different way. Oh, he's last. It was like the little rascals racing scene. <laughs> Take a shortcut. You get dead last. I already stole from her. No, I didn't. Good day, stranger. You were some time away. I worried you wouldn't return. Is that it? Have you brought it? What did Ranga say? Yes, I have it. Here it is. Da! You really did it. Oh, bless you. Bless you. I don't know what I would have done without you. Now my baby will be fine. I can't thank you enough. Hmm. Wait. You should know something about that potion. What do you mean? Uh. Doesn't do what you think. Nah, faith is a powerful thing. It might make you a little more tired. That sort of thing. Oh, well, I don't know that I'll notice, frankly, but thank you for telling me. Here, take this. You can keep what remains of Ranga's payment, too. Thank you again. I'll take this before I settle into bed. Perhaps I'll finally rest easy. No level ups, surprisingly. How close are we? You're... Wow. Oh, need 800, uh, 700 more. 800 more. You're far away. I'm 700 away as well. A little bit further. Pretty close, actually. Kind of might level up before everybody else. Oh, well. Oh, why am I sneaking? <laughs> yeah, I kind of thought twice about telling her the truth, because faith is a powerful miracle. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Faith is powerful in the eye of a beholder. I don't think that's right either. I don't think a beholder has faith. Except for in his eyeballs, maybe. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Faith is powerful, yo. Okay. We're gonna rest at the inn. And then we're gonna head back to our keep. I don't think there's anything else that I can buy, though. Let me check. Well, first I wanna sleep. I'd like a room. Give me a room. Let me rest at your room. And let me head out of the room. Oh, that guy's laughing like crazy. Ah, 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 ah. I tell you. Cacklers. Is that what it's called? Cackling? And you go, ah, 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 Or something like that. Okay, Kanoa. We'll go there. We might sleep in our awesome new shiny bed. I like how the odd is like surrounding that place. I forgot what that place is. Is that the blacksmith area? I honestly don't know. All right then. But anyway, actually, there's no reason for me to be up in the keep. Um. There's nothing I can get with 400, is there? Although this would give us a lot. It requires a Western barbecue. Western barbecue. Yeah, I need a lot more money to really buy anything. I don't know if I want the Warden's Lodge just yet, because you have to be pretty high level. Hmm. 
There's a lab. There's cheap stuff to get our crowns up, our prestige, but I don't really want prestige right now. I want more security. And that requires a lot more money than we have. So I think we'll save our money. Well, the Western barbecue would be nice to have. We're going to grill some stuff up there. So I might just go ahead and get that next. So I need 500 more. And that'll give us two security. So, um, yeah. Next up is going to be Radrick's hold. And I really don't want to get started up on that today. Let me see. Radrick's hold. The endless paths. Travel time. Take Edder. Um, go to the Temple of Wodica. Actually, where do we go from here? I actually don't know. Where do we go? Where do we go? How? From here, we go to the Wooden Plains. Actually, there is somebody that we can get here. There's a ranger that we can get there, but I don't know if I really want it just yet. I think what we will do. First off, I need to be back in Gilded Vale. Okay. Yeah, we'll start in Gilded Vale. And we're going to travel to Radrick's Hold, and we are going to start knocking that out of the park. I think everybody's kind of high level enough, and with good strategy, we should be able to clear it out. And we'll definitely have some level ups by the end of it because there's quite a bit to do. I'm going to go to the road east. I believe that's the part of our journey that we need to do. Travel to Radrick's Hold. Yep. Look at that cow. Okay, the eastern wood. That is where we will go. <laughs> of course, that'll have to be in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment down below and check the description for my Facebook and Twitter information. While you're at it, give this video a huge thumbs up to support the series and subscribe if you would like to see more. I will see you guys in the next video.